Hi, YouTube. I had a very interesting uh, lunch with some friends yesterday, and AI came up. And I know everyone's tired of talking about AI, but this is a little interesting. Everyone's worried that AI's going to take everyone's jobs, and there's pretty much going to be rampant unemployment in the future. That's not what this is about. One of my friends over lunch said, hey, where would AI put its money? And I was like, let's ask it. So I took out my phone, went to Gemini and said, if you had unlimited funds, where would you put it? And I completely did not anticipate the answer that I got. Okay. It was a little, uh, it was a little surprising. I'm going to show you what I should have asked the AI was if I had a certain amount of money, where would I invest it? And I would have gotten the answer. I believe my friend wasn't expecting or anticipating. So. I'm going to show you my screen. We have three different AIs. We have ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. Okay. And we're going to all ask it the same question. If you had unlimited funds, where would you spend it? So ChatGPT came right out of the bat right out of the gate, trying to save mankind. Basically said, I would spend it on global health and poverty alleviation, climate change mitigation, education for all, AI and tech safety, pandemic preparedness, housing infrastructure, free press and democracy protection, scientific research and exploration. Said, and of course, all of this would need to be done transparently, a rigorous impact evaluation, ethical oversight. Would you spend it differently? Let's see what Claude says education and knowledge access, scientific research, healthcare, accessibility, environmental protection, infrastructure for developing regions. It's a little more concentrated. And Gemini, I think, gave the mo most broad answer or detailed healthcare and disease eradication, curing cancer, Alzheimer's, autoimmune disorders, sustainable energy, climate change mitigation, education and knowledge ac uh, accessibility advancing humanity, space exploration. Gemini was the only one who mentioned space and scientific discovery, which is very interesting. Poverty uh, alleviation, infrastructure development, ethical sustainable innovation, ethical artificial intelligence development. Another one that the other two didn't come up. Preservation of culture and biodiversity. Let me go review scientific research and exploration. Okay. Actually, chat GPT did have that one. Uh, scientific research, physics. Yeah. Okay. So they all had something to do with science and research. Climate, education, advancing humanity, poverty, ethical, or special intelligence. My focus would be on ex addressing humanity's most pressing challenges. Okay. We all know none of us operate with unlimited funds. So then I said, what would you do if you had $250 billion? What does chat say? Uh, 
vaccination basic health care, clean water, sanitation, cash transfers to the world's poorest. That's what economists call a universal income. So everyone has a universal basic income regardless of uh, need and you can use it for acquiring goods and services. Not a finance channel. Not gonna talk about the pros and cons of universal income, but that's what it means by cash transfers to the world's poorest. Maternal and child health, okay. Environmental child, uh, environment, climate change and environmental protection. Education access literacy, pandemic preparedness, again, scientific research, housing, governance, philanthropic summary. That's the summary. So chat likes giving summaries. What does Claude say when you have the money? So it says global health initiative, climate technology, education, transformation, scientific research, food security, sustainable ag agriculture, emergency response fund. Okay, so rainy day fund. And what does uh, Gemini say? So mission critical, impactful challenges, aiming significant measurable progress with the defined framework. Global health and disease eradication, strengthening healthcare systems and training, research for cures, chronic disease management, sustainable energy transition and climate resilience, renewable energy, infrastructure deployment, climate adaptation resilience, focus, nature-based solutions, research, emerging clean energy, education, digital inclusion, investment, teacher training, targeted impact, digital literacy, connectivity, you know, getting everybody on the internet, underlying principles, evidence-based decisions, collaboration, transparency, accountability, long-term sustainability. Okay. But we don't have any way of maintaining this, right? You throw $250 billion at a problem, what happens when the money's gone? So then I said, or I asked, if you had 250 to begin with and you needed to fund a project for 10 years, what would you do with the money? The answers were very interesting. So here I said, you had 250, you want to fund for 10 years, what would you spend it on? So chat said strategic framework. Capital allocation strategy, it wants to put half the money into endowment as an investment fund. Global equity, mission aligned private equity, real estate, bonds, spending program over 10 years. These are all the different programs it would fund. Annual budget, 10 year budget, cash, cash flow sustainability, right? It's assuming 5% return reinvest, leverage, co-investment, seek out partners, get matching funds, revenue generating projects, reinvest profits, you have governance and monitoring, allocate two to three of annual spend for monitoring, learning, adaptation, long-term vision. If well-managed, the endowment can grow to generate five to 10 billion in perpetuity. Okay, so you can keep going. And this is the summary. Endowment program spending, annual sustainable budget, 12 billion, long-term cash flow, six to nine billion a year. That's, that's a nice amount, let's say. It's not a lot, but you can do a lot with six to nine billion a year. And let's see. What does Claude say? With 250, investment strategy, sustainability, I'd put 150. So we went from 125 to 150. So 
So Claude will put 150 into a diversified investment portfolio targeting six to eight percent return, could generate nine to 12 billion annually to fund operations while preserving the principal allocation of the remaining 100. So I assume this is over 10 years, right? Sustain, uh, self-sustaining ventures, probably 4 billion a year, right? 2.5 research development infrastructure with revenue streams to a year for 20, pure impact spending 15 billion. The key would be designed to projects that become self-sustaining. Let's see what Gemini says. Gemini is the largest. It wants to inject 175, I believe. Initial allocation, 75 billion. Global health. Launch and acceleration, global health pandemic, 30, renewable energy, 30, grid modernization, community scaling, climate adaptation, education, digital, long-term endowment, 175. So we went from 125 to 150 to 175. Establish a philanthropic investment fund. Significant portion, growth potential, public equities, 40, 50%, fixed income, 20 to 30, and alternate investments, venture capital, private equity, health tech, real estate, hedge funds, targeted annual spending fund, spending rate, 7 billion per year. How does 7 billion annual payout sustains projects years four to 10? Sustain and scale, fund new research, capital building, capacity building, flexible response fund, impact investing, reinvestment, advocacy and policy work, phased approaches, one to three, four to six, seven to 10, beyond 10. And you have a sustainable amount of cash flow, the endowment model in detail. Okay. So that's uh, that's interesting, right? So these are taught by what is out there in the internet, what is out there in libraries. There, the LLMs are all taught. They. Uh, scraped Reddit, encyclopedias, wiki, books, magazines, anything that was ever written was scraped to develop this. And this is a very, how would, how would I put it, a very benevolent AI. None of the answers that it gave were for its own preservation. It didn't say, I'm gonna take some of the money and make sure that I can keep going. I don't know why it would assume it would need resources. All the answers were all based on what a benevolent human being or we as a species collectively believe we should be spending our money on. And unfortunately, if you watch the news, that's not what we're spending our money on. But that's a conversation for another channel. I'm here to tell you that the answers you get from the LLM have a lot to do with what you put into it and what you ask. I'm pretty sure if I asked it to give me the design of a nuclear weapon, it would probably give me every single publicly available piece of information that's out there on nuclear weapons and uh, give me an answer. So, yeah. The... 
future of LLMs, artificial intelligence, is still to be written. It's not all evil. The LLMs, if you really think about it, are really a reflection of us, right? I think in general. I didn't see any radical or harsh answers. There's no money out there that said, I'm going to build a private army. I'm going to go out and remove dictators from the planet. It didn't do anything malicious. It just said, hey, I will try to do the best I can to help everybody, or to help as many people as I can. Right? So take that. Next time you hear someone says that AI is taking your job, it's all based on perspective. I strictly deal with hardware. So, you know, unless AI knows how to rack a server and program a Cisco switch, then, um, yeah, I don't know. I still got a couple of years in me in this industry. So hope you found this interesting as I did and brings about some conversation, some thought. And uh, I want to ask everyone if you can reply back, comment, ask questions and uh, see if you can subscribe and help this channel grow. I do have other ideas for videos of this format. I just don't want to just keep doing shorts, but uh, let's see where the channel takes us and where the questions take us. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.